In my opinion, John, this is the type of furniture we should be making. Remarkable. What is it? It's a chair made out of wrought iron and plastic. It's the latest modern design. And this, Harold? That's a copy of a new Swedish reversible sofa. Mm. Does a set of instructions go with them? I'd be afraid to get into that thing. Unfortunately, John, our customers are not quite so old-fashioned. The public is demanding modern furniture now. Take this sofa. Hey, my boy, that is not a sofa. That is a sofa. Constructed, not turned out. Quality, my boy, that's what we're selling. People are looking for something new. We've got to give it to them. Chairs made out of scrap metal? That's not what our customers expect from John Brown and company. We get new customers with a line of modern furniture. Now, Harold, our sales are fine. We're making money. We'll end the year with our usual nice profit. We could triple our profits. And we could go bankrupt. So you won't even consider it? I'm afraid the answer is no. But listen, John, if you just... Hello. Oh, did I interrupt anything? No, no, my dear, we've finished. How are you, Harold? Hello, Mrs. Brown. You didn't tell me you were coming into town today. Oh, I thought it'd be fun to pop in and surprise you. You can take me to lunch. Well, I'm afraid I have an appointment. If you'd have mentioned it this morning... Well, then it wouldn't have been a surprise. I'm afraid I can't stand many more surprises today. Maybe Harold will volunteer to take you to lunch. Oh, I'm sure Harold has his own plans, dear. Nothing important, Mrs. Brown. I'd be happy to volunteer. But you do have an appointment. I'll change it. It's no problem for a junior partner. Goodbye, dear. Order, madame. Yes. Is that a Yes. It must have been a girl. Pardon? At the maison? Yes. Your lunch date. It was with a girl, wasn't it? Matter of fact, yes, it was. Is it Clarice? Oui. Now I'm going to spoil your fun. How dreadful of me. Don't tease the animals, Mrs. Brown. You might get bitten. Justement? My, we're in a bad mood. Et vous aussi, monsieur? Nothing for me, thank you. Très bien, merci. Why were you and John glaring at each other when I came in? I told him our product was 20 years out of style. A lot of people still buy it. Three times as many would buy furniture like this. What's that? Sketches of a new line of modern furniture that we're not bringing out. May I look? You can have them. Are these your own ideas? Well, some of them. I had a designer working on it. Oh, I think they're awfully good. I really do. Well, thanks. How about our going into partnership? Or do we have to ask John's permission? He's a charter member. Do you have any influence with him? I never interfere in his business. But you've just got a share of it now. You just became a partner. Are you as conservative as your husband, Mrs. Brown? No wonder my husband thinks your ideas are too advanced. I just meant we could make a lot of money. Oh, now you're angry again. Are you sorry John made you take me to lunch? I wasn't drafted. I volunteered. I shouldn't tease you. Your sketches are wonderful. And most women would like to make a lot of money. Sure, some of them marry for it. That's a low blow. I'm very fond of John. I'm sure you are. Good evening, Mr. Skinner. Hello, Ellen. I'm a little early. So if Mr. Brown hasn't finished his dinner... Well, he's not here. He left for Philadelphia late this afternoon. Well, that's odd. I was supposed to meet him here to go over some statements. Would you like to speak to Mrs. Brown? Oh, no, no. Don't disturb her. I'll just leave these with you. What is it, Ellen? It's Mr. Skinner, ma'am. Harold! What a surprise! You're just in time for dinner. Oh, no, thanks. Well, I owe you a meal. Remember, you bought my lunch a few weeks ago, under pressure. Well, thanks. I've eaten. 
I had an appointment with John, but he seems to have forgotten all. Well, come in. I can't imagine John getting his appointment so mixed up. Your act was absolutely priceless. Darling. Hmm? What are we going to do about John? Do you have to worry about that now? Well, let's face it. We're running out of ways to meet. We can't pull this one again. Ellen will be suspicious. And if I take you to lunch once more, John's going to start asking questions. Yes, I know. Have you talked to him about bringing out the new line of modern stuff? He won't discuss it. I've got to find some way to make money. Why doesn't he just retire and let me run the business? Well, there's not a chance of that. The business is his whole life, and he's still in his prime, except for his absent-mindedness about appointments. You know, I think you've got something. What do you mean? The old boy's losing his grip. He doesn't know what he's doing. When you can't remember business matters, it's time to retire. John's got a memory like a file cabinet. He never forgot anything in his life. Mm -hmm. 